Mm. We sit in the doorway and hold hands. Mm. Mm. Wow, what a beautiful ending to our readings. Today out on the Cape Porch, yeah. Cape Porch, <laughs> rocks strewn around that are good for lounging, yeah. <laughs> uh, wow, what an erotic diary, yeah. Cleopatra 30, the stunner from down under, and May. <clears throat> to water. Oh, yeah. All right. Um, <sighs> breathless from intense nostalgia. Um, I finish reading, role playing from my erotic diary. And, uh, <sighs> I wish to step back from captaining our trip for a while. So I turn our cave adventure over to Goddess Earthy. And this is when we do our yin yang switchback maneuver. Uh, <clears throat> wish you. Uh, well, Goddess Earth is honored to be at the navigation uh, uh, cockpit again. Yeah, in my spirit. And. Uh, her legs experienced an extreme erotic workout <laughs> while possessing the body of Cleopatra. Look at her long, gorgeous hair and the rings on her fingers that she makes herself. Oh, yeah. Uh, her earth legs experienced an uh, extreme erotic workout. <laughs> Oh, oh, I'm excited to see through uh, her eyes. Um, yeah, um, how brilliantly uh, flamboyant Earth life appears uh, to this high creature from another dimension, uh, <laughs> Goddess Earth. Eh? Um, yeah, looking through my head through my squishy, gelatinous orbs we call eyes. Um, seems like a saturated DMT trip. A dimethyl tryptamine rush of vision, pure tantic vision, without earth mind. You just see purely uh, mm -hmm. holographic rainbow eyes. From a uh, Bikini, mythological fairy from another dimension. Oh yeah, European folk tales are full of creatures like Goddess Earth. They mate with knights and yeah, yeah uh, crusader knights. And, uh, okay, switchback maneuver complete. Mmm. <clears throat> Greetings, this is God Surthy speaking through Earthman's body. He has such a low voice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, speaking now uh, from female, me, uh, afternoon light, oh, <laughs> becoming weaker. So we must resume our uh, investigation of the interior of the cave. Love this. In earnest. We walk through the entry uh, passageway into the womb chamber of Ganesha. Look, seven meters long? <laughs> yeah, but narrow, huh? Twelve meters high? Like a three-story building. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that way we're blessed. We were able to build a little wood fire inside. Out of the womb chair, which is then up and down. Oh, oh. <sighs> we adore our sacred grotto. Oh, yeah, Gnostic grotto. 
you know, from the outside world of Fat Parson, they can't squeeze into archive. There's kind of a filter there. Uh, well, inside the womb chamber, Earthman turns on his hiker's headlamp uh, because we must penetrate the vagina veil uh, passageway to enter the inner chamber. <laughs> if you had the book, you'd have the whole map of the cave, every little room, nook and cranny, and all the beautiful photographs. <laughs> Ah, uh, the deep, this, uh, inside the vagina, mm -hmm. deeper room, off the womb, angles off and up, step up from the womb chamber, and look at, no natural light ever penetrates into this inner chamber. Naturally sublime for esoteric visualization. And the Tibetan Buddhists <laughs> took that ball visualizations and they ran with it all over the universe. <sighs> yeah, inner chamber. Um, Naturally, sublime, totally dark. I mean, darker than. Uh, erotic visualizations of what? Of the Gnostic uh, spot. The Gnostic spot, the G spot? Of a tantric goddess? It's fun time in the cave. Come on along with us, okay? And enjoy the show.